What's a hub motor? Well first, the definition of a hub is a central part of a wheel rotating on or with the axle and from which the spokes radiate. So basically, the hub is the part between the wheel and the axle. It usually houses the bearings and the bearings reduce the friction so the wheel can spin more freely. Now, an electric motor can be built into the hub, combining the wheel and motor together. It's usually a brushless DC motor. So basically, in this kind of motor, you got the stator, which is the part that stays still and that you attach to your bike. It contains multiple magnet wire coils, and these coils are arranged in a ring surrounding a shaft, and that's all one part, the stator. Then bearings connect the shaft on the stator to the face plates and they spin. Between both face plates is a ring and beneath that ring is the neodymium magnets that react with the coils on the stator. Finally, spokes are attached between the hub face plates to the rim and then the tube and the tire are installed on the rim to make a complete wheel. Now to get things moving, electric current is pulsed through the coils to make a magnetic field that forces the magnets to move the hub. On most basic DC or AC electric motors, speed is proportional to voltage and torque is proportional to current or amps. So to get more acceleration or torque, current is increased, which means thicker magnet wire is needed, making the hub bigger and heavier. So to get around this, some hub motors use gears in the hub instead, which allows the motor to be smaller, and then they can get the desired speed acceleration ratio using the gears and avoid using heavier wire. The downside to gears is that they also add mass to the motor and they will also wear out probably before the electronics in the motor wear out. Now, when looking at hub motor kits, there's at least five different factors you have to compare. First off, you got wheel size, you know, 20 inch, 26 inch, 300C, fat tire. You got to get the right size of wheel for your bike. Second, you got power that's measured in watts. And for hub motors, there's usually four power levels you'll find online. The 250 watt, the 500 watt, the 750 watt, and the 1000 watt. Third, you got the drive mechanism. You can have a geared drive that may be lighter and get you the speed acceleration ratio you want. Or you may want a direct drive motor because they usually last longer. But I'll get in that into a future video. Then you got to choose between a rear hub kit with the cogs and usually a free wheel or the more simple front hub kit. Then you got the price and lastly the company and the reputation for making quality products and having a warranty. My next video will get into the details to help you find the right hub kit for your bicycle. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. It helps me out if you like or subscribe. You can leave a question or a comment. You know how YouTube works. Be careful. Don't lose your head. And keep building.